It wasn't gonna happen. There was no way I was gonna put these boots on my feet under any circumstances at all. In fact, the story starts out, these boots were sent to me to give away through a company called What Tools Inside. My job was to come up with a unique and creative way to give clues as to what was inside this box. I knew what was in this box. It was a pair of Keen boots. But these Keen boots I would never wore before and I planned on never wearing at all. In fact, when I was done doing this promotional video, I threw the boots down and I said whoever wants them can take them. Uh, you try to make it go and it won't work? I got it. What's Is going it working? Now? Yeah. Are we actually send, are send we this to the right video? Now? Are we filming right now? Yeah. You can edit it later. Thank you, prop guy. <laughs> Thank you, prop guy. <laughs> Appreciate that. You got me in my barefoot? You got I me? got you, buddy. I see your toes getting redder and redder by the second. Ready? Go ahead, roll it. Go. I am downright keen on being prepared for anything. One of the things I look for the absolute most when I talk to my guys and they're getting ready to win or work, are they ready from the top down? Nothing could be more important than be being prepared for extreme weather conditions. And one of the most important things you can do when you're trying to get ready for extreme weather is to have the right workwear on. If you're not ready for it, it can kick you in the butt. Thank you, Tim. So today, go to What Tools Inside for the free giveaway and take a guess what's in this box. And, or if you're keen on it, go to their website and put your guess there. What Tools Inside or enter, enter to win there. Every single guy in my job site walked over to those boots, put them on their feet, and they didn't fit anybody. I decided, well, what the heck, they don't fit anybody else, I'm gonna try these boots on. So I stuck them on my feet, and they fit me. This one should be pretty interesting. I wasn't gonna wear them because they weren't Red Wings and they weren't Red Wing knockoffs or Thorough Goods. Hey, and I, when I say that with a grain of salt because Thorough Goods are good boots, but they're not Red Wings. My favorite pair of shoes, my favorite pair of boots is Red Wings. You're not gonna get me to wear anything else. I'm in Minnesota. The Red Wing factory is just up the street. I'm not gonna wear anything but the best boots that I could find and especially if they're local. These don't even look like Red Wings. They look like some kind of a hybrid kind of a hiking boot that I could buy at Kmart. But I decided to give them a test run. And when I say give them a test run, I was going to put them through the same hell that I put my boots, my Red Wings, that I put my regular boots through every night of the week. Yay! You see guys, I have a pet fox and every single night I have to take her for a walk. And no matter what the weather is like, no matter how cold it is, I have to take her out. And she doesn't like to go walking down the pass. She likes to go hunting in the swamp, which is actually really fun. We gotta get your collar on, don't we? Yes, we do. We've gotta get your collar on. Yes, we gotta get your collar on because you got, can't go walking without that on hmm we actually have to put a harness on her because she's an escape artist you're a good girl you're a good girl good girl yes you're a good girl all right let's get your collar on and you know you like going for walks all right who's a good girl Every night. You ready? Now hunting with a fox involves a lot of standing around and waiting. Even if you're standing in water, it doesn't matter because the fox listens for mice underneath the snow and then pounces on them and tries to grab them as they're walking underneath the snow. And if they don't happen to get it, well, 
They got another way that they can get even with that mice, which you see next. Well, you didn't catch it, so you're gonna pee on it. Okay, I see what you're doing. Come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go, come on. Come on, we got our own trip to make. She sees two dogs walking towards her, and instead of running away like a fox typically would do, she wants to run towards them, even though one of them oh, no. is a really big German Shepherd. And I think it's because I Come have on, the strangest fox in the world, which you're about to see in a minute. <laughs> she wants to meet him. <laughs> how you doing? Doing well, how are you? Good. No. No, leave them alone. You've got no business with them. Come on now. Come on. Hey, get out of the cockle bird. Come on, goofball. Let's go. Come on. We don't walk the path. Let's go. Yes, I have a fox that thinks it's a dog. Come on, come on now, leave him alone. Let's go, come on. So at this point, one foot has been completely underwater. The boot is full of freezing cold water, but in actuality, instead of really being miserable, my foot heats the water up and the boot stays actually relatively okay, kind of oddly enough. The other boot wasn't completely underwater, but it was in the water and my foot has never gotten wet as long as the water doesn't come over the top of it. It's been the best waterproofing of any boot that I've ever experienced. Sinking over my boot, just like this, way too many nights in a row. In fact, I just kind of have to plan on it, to be honest with you, because it sounds weird, but it doesn't really bother me when it sinks, when it gets soaking wet. I can still walk for another hour and a half, two hours without it. Actually, by the time I'm done walking, it's kind of lukewarm. So every night of the week, I put these boots through hell. Sometimes coming home with one boot that's completely submerged underwater, and sometimes both of them. But these boots I've discovered have kept my feet warmer and drier than any boot I've ever wore in my entire life hands down. So when I get home from hiking this one time, I find Frankie sitting at the counter talking with Thomas about boots. So let's see what they have to say. And guys, sorry about this, but the camera doesn't like to be hot, then cold, then hot again. So you'll see me doing this once in a while. $15. Okay, so what was the boots you bought that you didn't like? The Cabela boot. And they were a Gore-Tex boot. Okay, so they were designed for colder weather, right? I, I thought, um, but I didn't think when I when I put them on, they they were just bad. I would not buy I would not buy them again. And then he went to treat them. Cabela boots. Boot. Cabela boots. Are no, I saw the Keen boots and they were nice. I like them. I I would I would I I would spend the money on them. These are the best boots ever. So, I mean, when I got you were there when I got the box. Right. Yeah, and well, I I I didn't want them. I tried to I give know. them away. I was like, they didn't fit anybody. They, they didn't fit anybody. They didn't fit anybody. I, and I'm I like, crap, yeah. I'm going to be stuck wearing these things. They're nice yeah. though. No, you don't take them off. No, you don't. No, now I don't take them off. Yeah. Yep. Are those water resistant too? Dude, all right, so I broke through yeah, out there, at right? Pond? I broke through out in the pond, and it's squishing well, inside the boot, was, right? right? So it's squishing inside the boot, and it's, my foot's perfectly fine. It's just wet. It's wow. not cold. It's not even cold. I've never had a, a boot where my foot, my feet have been this warm ever. That's crazy. Well, look at this camp. Look at look how cold it is outside. It just keeps fogging up the camera. Fogging right up. Yeah. Well, what were you filming outside? I was filming all the crap I walked through every single night of the week. <laughs> every, every single night. And it'll be like zero degrees out. Yeah. Like the high is zero. And I'll break through the water and I'll keep walking for another hour and a half. 
Those are I'm, I'm, I've only heard good stuff about their their, their product. Yeah, definitely, sure. definitely the best pair of boots. And I wore Red Wings my whole life. I would not buy anything but Red Wings. Right. And then I tried Thorough Goods, and my feet sweat. Yeah. Like a like a banshee in those. That's a the leather boot though, right? Yep. Both Red Wing and Thorough Goods. Yeah. And they're more expensive than these. Yeah. And I put these on, and I wouldn't go back. I would never wear anything but. No. Look at the, the mud from the bottom of the <laughs> Oh boy. You're, I'm gonna tell her it's from you. <laughs> I'm gonna tell her that's yeah. from you. <laughs> that's, that's not. That's not. That's. <laughs> baby. Look at look at the mess you made. Holy small water. Dude, you're gonna be in so much trouble. Well, I'm sure. It was I'm gonna walk out the other way. <laughs> Damn. You're making it worse. Shut up. Up. Oh, you are, look. Shut up. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, boy. 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 Oh, have a good day. You too. Okay guys, here's something that I don't understand about these Keen boots, is according to their website, they're made in Portland, Oregon, but according to their tag, they're made in China. Come on, focus, focus, focus. So, I can't clear that one up for you. Now, if you wanna know about this exact pair of Keen boots, this is called, let me look this up. So now if you wanna know about the exact pair of boots I'm talking about in this video, these are called the Mount Vernon Keen boots. And I can't tell you about any other shoes Keen makes, I've never wore them. Um, but the things that I have learned about these boots in particular, if we look at the bottom of this boot, what you're gonna see is that these are little yellow dots. And what this represents is some kind of a weird traction system that they have. And these little, wherever you see the little yellow dots in the bottom of the boot, it's like they've embedded fiberglass or a glass type of a material into the bottom of the boot. Meaning that it gives you amazing traction, like insane traction, like traction that even surprised me when I wasn't going, do these boots have good traction? You're just walking along and you're like, holy crap, I'm not slipping and falling. This is the ice test while being pulled sideways by a fox. Come on. First we're going downhill, not over the camera. Come on. Come on. We, we don't actually know which way we're gonna get pulled. Because you don't walk a fox, a fox walks you. Come on, this way. Come on. Come on, we're going down the hill. Down the hill. I'm gonna stay on the slipperiest part. And if I fall, I fall. This is pure ice. Pure ice. Honestly, I've never felt more comfortable on slippery surfaces than with these boots. Except when I go from hard pack onto another hard surface. Then the snow and ice tend to stick to the bottom of the boot and it doesn't release. Meaning when I take that first step, it's gonna be slippery until I knock it off. And trust me, knocking that snow and ice off isn't as easy as you'd think. You really have to pound it to get that snow and ice to release from the bottom of the boot. But I guess that also means that it, the traction is working the way it's supposed to be. But there's a good and a bad to that traction. Because this will, like a magnet, just stick everything to the bottom of the boot. 
So you can walk through mud and it's and when it's cold like where it is here That'll freeze to the bottom of the boot and snow and ice and all of these things this right here This is where you got to be really careful that is holding all of the every all the stuff that was giving me traction down there is still stuck there and now it's not giving me any traction at all a buddy of mine Eric with mechanical hub was talking about he didn't like these boots because when he would step out of his truck and onto a driveway he would slip and fall and I noticed that as well what would happen is when I get off from the trail and I go onto a hard surface all of this is this big ice buildup is still there and as soon as you take a step it's really slippery you've got to knock this off before you step onto a different type of a surface and to knock the, the soil that's built up off from the bottom of the boot is actually a lot more challenging than you would think but that's because this is designed to give you that insane amount of traction that's all i can say about it so make sure you're aware of that what are we hunting for mice when you first wear these boots when you walk off from the trail and onto a different kind of a hard surface you better be very careful because you're still going to have that trail stuck stuck to the bottom of this boot but while you're walking on the trail I don't I believe you're not going to find a boot that's going to give you better traction and no Keen isn't saying isn't telling me to say this they don't even know I'm making this video I I'm just making this video because I literally am that impressed with this boot. And if you're wondering how you say it, it really is pronounced boot. Yeah, boot. That's the right way to say it there. All right, guys. Well, I hope the video like this has helped you out. Let me know in the comments down below or hit the thumbs up button and tell me what your favorite pair of boots is because I want to hear from you what you guys prefer to put on your feet. If I didn't have these boots sent to me, I would have never wore them. And I'm glad I did because they were a game changer for me. Now, coming down the pipeline at you, one of the next videos will include excavators and chainsaws, kind of in that order. And then a video right after that is I'm going to do a three year review of Western snowplows. That one should be interesting. Anyway, God bless you guys and go get them.